No, that doesn't make sense. What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabrielle Tongle, but you can call me Gabs and we are here today for another Buff Bunny Collection try on and review. Look at this new setup. I am feeling this. We're feeling a little extra and I'm here for it. We all know I'm a little extra, so we obviously had to level up a little bit when it comes to our reviews. But if you guys haven't heard, Buff Bunny Collection is having another launch coming up on April 17 at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. And this launch is all about Marvel coming back. It is an all-time favorite for so many of you guys. In addition, they are coming out with some new materials that are actually eco-friendly. Yes, I think that is so, so cool. And I can't wait to give you guys all the tea in regards to whether it is worth it or not not how it feels how it fits and everything like that so if you guys want to know all the details when it comes to the upcoming buff Bunny collection launch on saturday april 17 at 1 p.m central standard time then just keep watching if you guys have never watched my videos before i will warn you right now they are a little bit long but for a very good reason if you guys look at all the reviews from people from watching my reviews they are definitely worth the watch i do have timestamps for you guys in the description box if you guys want to skip to certain items however i will say you might not want to skip too too much because we do have a giveaway. As always, I do want to always give back to you guys as much as I possibly can. So myself and Buffany Collection have teamed up to do a giveaway. You guys are just going to have to stay tuned for all of the details on the giveaway. So although I am a sponsored athlete, you guys know that I'm always honest about what I think about the pieces. So if I don't like something, I will let you guys know. If I really think that something is worth it, I will let you guys know as well. But I just want to make it clear that if you are new around here, although I'm sponsored, it does not mean that I'm not giving you my honest opinions on these pieces. As always, Buffany Collection does give us as many pieces as possible. However, it is quite impossible to give us every single piece that is launching in every single color so if I don't physically have it here I will let you guys know what I think about the pieces what sizes I would get do I think it's worth it all that good stuff and if I don't say anything verbally I will have information on the screen so it's very important that for my videos you guys are hella attentive because all the details are here in this video at the end of the day these videos are made for you guys so that your shopping experience can be as easy as possible because I understand we want to make sure that we're spending our hard-earned money on some good quality pieces and things that you guys are going to love so that is what this video is always for when it comes to these buff bunny collection try on and reviews and of course as always if you guys have any additional questions after this video feel free to send me a dm over on instagram and i will get back to you as soon as i can sometimes it does take me a hot minute so feel free to send a couple messages to make sure that i do get to you before the launch i will be checking here on youtube but instagram is normally the easiest way to get a hold of me so again i strongly recommend that if you guys have a question leave it over in my dms and i will get back to you as soon as i can let's stop talking and let's get right into the review. So starting with the Limitless Biker Shorts, how excited are we that they are coming out with marble biker shorts? I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love the biker shorts because I find that they're the perfect length of shorts. They're not too short, they're not too long, and they're perfect for the shorties like me. Um, so I love, love the biker shorts. So here I am wearing a size small. This is the size that I normally get for all the biker shorts and any pieces that are of made of this material. So recently they actually changed the name of the material that a lot of the marble pieces are made out of. The citrus line was made out of that slippery, slick feeling that I always describe. Well, now we have an actual name for that and that is Elysium. The Elysium fabric delivers mythical performance properties in and out of the gym. It has a silky smooth dreamlike texture that supports your body with powerful stretch and incredible compression. Assuming exhibits sweat-waking properties and an instant dry for high-intensity training sessions. Be unstoppable and conquer new heights with what? Heights? New heights with our incredible Elysium fabric. Again, this isn't a brand new fabric that you guys haven't seen before. It's just that now they have named this fabric. So if you guys love the citrus print pieces and the marble pieces, the biker shorts do fit very similar to them. It has that same material. I honestly love them and they also have no front seam and they do have those pockets that I know you guys all love and adore so, so much. I will say that as always, I am between sizes when it comes to my bottoms. I'll sometimes do a small, sometimes do a medium, depending on the fabric. And so for these ones, I did go with a small, but I will warn you guys because I do carry a lot of my body fat in the stomach area they do roll a little bit at the waistband however for me it doesn't quite matter as much just because I would rather my bottoms fit pretty fitted throughout the bottoms and then be a little bit snug in the waistband so for me personally I am okay with the small because I feel that they fit the best throughout my legs but I will warn you guys that when I'm sitting down and stuff like that the waistband does roll down a little bit so if that bothers you then I would definitely go with your true size but for me personally with this material I do like to go with my smaller size because I do feel that it fits throughout my leg a lot better and I'm not needing to pull them up at all or anything like that. So moving on to some other pieces in the Limitless line and we have the Limitless shorts. So I personally did not get the Limitless shorts. These ones are definitely shorter than the Limitless biker shorts. These ones have an inseam of four inches and I would say that these will be your shorter shorts. So if you guys don't love those short shorts, then these shorts might not be for you. 
say shorts one more time. From the looks of it, it looks like there's no pockets on the side. If I do find out elsewise, then I will obviously let you guys know on the screen. But from what I can see in the pictures right now, there are no pockets on the Limitless shorts. Personally for me, if I were to get these shorts, I would get a size medium. I know that when it comes to the shorter shorts, I'm normally a medium. It's only for like leggings and biker shorts where I do go back and forth. But for the most part, when it comes to shorts in general, I do go with a medium. Now the Limitless leggings. So we have seen these leggings before in a previous Marvel launch however for these ones they did have the mush mush the mesh cut out in the calves and this time they did take that out and there is just the side pockets i did not get the limitless leggings myself this time around because i did have the original white marble leggings already and honestly they're in great condition still to this day years later and so i opted out in getting these leggings so that i could try some other pieces however if i were to get these leggings i would definitely get a size small i'm sure i'd have the same issue with the waistband rolling down but again based on my personal preference on how i like my leggings to fit um that's just what I would go with. Honestly, for me, I really don't love the black marble. Like I know I'm wearing it right now, but honestly, it just reminds me so much of like lightning and it always has, even like today it still does. But I know some people just do not trust themselves with white, which is totally fine. But I will say that I don't absolutely love the black marble. And I will show you guys a little bit later how the black marble is when it's stretched and stuff. And that's another reason why I don't love the black marble all so much. So personally for me, as you can see from everything that I try on in this video, I did opt in for the white marble for the most part, but I did want to get at least a couple pieces in the black marble, just so I can show you guys what it looks like in person. So to kind of wrap up my thoughts on the limitless leggings, I would say that whatever size you went with for the citrus leggings would be the exact same size that you would go for this one. And of course, if you did purchase the previous marble leggings, then I would say go with the same size as well. It will fit very identical. It's just that that mesh is not there anymore. Now, this piece right here are actually the shorts that I'm wearing right now while we're filming, and that is the flow shorts. I am so impressed with these and I am so excited for you guys to get these, especially for me. Like not always do I want to wear like spandex shorts. Like I do like to wear like the more flowier ones sometimes, especially because I am wanting to get more into running this summer. Would like to, okay? Keyword would like to. And so I think these are perfect because they also have spandex in them. So you don't have to worry about like if you were like stretching or something and your shorts came down that like everyone would see everything. So I do love the built in spandex and you guys, these shorts are so soft like so soft. I think they're called the combat shorts that Buff Bunny Collection came out with last year, but it's like that, like just so, so freaking soft. And I honestly have nothing bad to say with them. I will say that I did find that these shorts fit just like a tad big, a tad. The medium do fit great on me and I would say that they are my true size. I think for me personally though, I would have preferred to get a small just so that they could be a little bit more fitted. But I do like having the medium option so that if I don't want it to be super tight, um, then we're good to go. It does have the adjustable drawstring as well. So if you guys do want to go with your true size and then just adjust your drawstring to, to make it tighter in the waist, then you absolutely can. But I will say they are super stretchy and they are absolutely so soft and you definitely could go with your smaller size if you are in between like I am. And again, that's why I say that they fit just a tad too big, but nothing crazy where I'd say definitely size down. What's also nice about these shorts is that they do have pockets in the front and in the back, so you can put all of your essential things in those pockets. The seam on the inside of the shorts is two inches. The seam on the outside of the shorts is three inches. I really, really love what they did with the design of these shorts with the little cutout that comes up a little bit higher on the side there. I think it's so flattering and so pretty and just gives you like a nice little accentuation of your curves. So I really do like that design there. So all in all, I honestly don't have a whole lot of things to say other than how amazing these flow shorts are and I really really hope that they come up with more colors because these are definitely gonna be my go-to for even like hikes because I hike like I said I'm wanting to do more physical activity and more fitness in general with the weather getting nicer so I think these are definitely gonna be my go-to shorts so the one thing that I did want to do is compare these flow shorts to the ever forward ones and I definitely have to say no shade to ever forward or anything like that but these flow shorts definitely knocked it out of the park I'm actually wearing a size large in these ever forward purple ones that I'm showing you right now and they definitely don't fit as flattering as say these floor shorts do granted the ever forward ones are pretty old and I'm sure if they were to come out with shorts like that in the future it would be totally different but I did want to compare in case any of you guys did have the ever forward shorts to compare to I don't have any other flowy shorts to really compare them to I never really bought the Lululemon ones or anything like that so I can't quite compare them to anything else but just trust me you guys they are very amazing especially if you are looking for more flowier shorts with that built-in spandex you are going to just love 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 the floor shorts before I move on to the tops in the marble release I do want to remind you guys that when it comes to the white bottoms of course if you guys wear a bright pink underwear it is going to show through. So I would recommend that you guys wear a nude underwear or no underwear. 
it depends on your personal preference but i do want to just let you guys know that of course with white you do want to be cautious of that but if you do wear the right underwear or you're good to go. Before I move forward, as you guys can see with this try-on clip, I was wearing a pink bra under this black top and you could definitely see it. Even right now under this light, you can see the gray bra that I'm wearing underneath. And the thing to remember with the black marble too is that it is printed on white fabric here. So see how there's white fabric underneath? So when you stretch it enough, you do see a little bit of white come through. And I know that bothers a lot of people with the black marble, but it's just the way that it is when it comes to printing this black marble on a piece of fabric. It has to be on white fabric in order for it to show through properly. So I just wanna let you guys know that if you guys do stretch the black when you're squatting or whatever it might be, it will show a little bit of white. It's not a defect or anything like that. It's just simply because it is printed on white fabric. So just keep that in mind if that is something that is going to bother you. While we're talking about this top, the black marble, let's just talk about the Limitless Mock Necks. So I was so excited to see these on the affiliate PDF because I was like, oh my gosh, I love mock neck. I literally have so many mock neck tops and whether it's summer, winter, fall, whatever, I will always be wearing these mock neck long sleeves. They do have a reflective logo on the neck. It is a little bit of a thinner material. So I would just be mindful of the colors that you wear underneath. Obviously for this one, it would have been better if I maybe wore a black one. And then obviously with the white one, I would have worn a white one as well. So I will say that they are a little bit on the thinner side and just to be mindful of that when you are wearing them. I am wearing a size medium. I wouldn't have wanted a large because I feel like it would have been a little bit too loose around my rib cage so i personally love getting a medium in all of my tops i will say also that these mock long sleeves tops do not have any thumb holes either so if that's something that is a win or lose for you i will let you know that there are no thumb holes for this top in specific okay so hold on wait a minute i was just looking at the tag of the other mock neck top and they are actually made of a different fabric breakdown than the other marble pieces so pay attention the mock neck tops are actually 90% polyester and 10% spandex. Personally for me, I feel like they are a little bit thinner than say the leggings or the shorts and that could explain very much well why is because they are more polyester than spandex where the shorts are that elysium fabric which is the breakdown of 73% polyester and 27% spandex. So definitely something to keep note of in case that is something very important to you when you are deciding what to purchase is that some of these marble pieces are slightly different from one another although they all look the same. So that does explain why it is a little bit easier to see my bra through the shirts, like the color of my bra is because they are just a little bit thinner. So it does suck a little bit, but it is what it is. And it's just something to keep in mind. Personally for me, it doesn't bother me all that much, but again, I am here to just give you guys all the details so you guys can have a better understanding of every piece when you guys are deciding what to purchase yourself. All right, now let's move on to the Jade Mesh Bra. So I actually didn't get this Jade Mesh Bra in the marble print in particular. However, I do have the Jade Mesh Bra in the citrus pattern that came out a few launches ago. So I'm wearing that pattern in this try-on video, but I wanted to show you guys how that bra fit, especially for my bigger titty committee. I'm not sure why, but for the Jade Mesh Bra, I always have to get an extra large. My usual bra size is a large, but for this one, I do feel a lot more comfortable in extra large. Large. So for my bigger titty committee, I would definitely go a little bit bigger for this one. And personally, that's just my preference. But you guys know that when I tell you what my preference is, it's usually for a good reason. So that is the Jade Mesh Bra. I do think it's a great bra, surprisingly, even though it doesn't have thicker straps or anything like that. I do find that it is supportive. I have often worn this one when I'm doing hit or any jumping or running, and I've found that it's just fine. And I love all the intricate details of the back, the mesh and everything like that. So overall, this bra is beautiful and there is a good reason why it's coming back in another pattern. Next, we have the Aurora Cry crop top. We all know how I feel about the Aurora crop top. I love it back in the OG days. Definitely now it has changed a little bit and specifically for the marble one, they did launch this previously. This one that I have here is the older one. This isn't the newer one. I just didn't bother getting the newer one because I already had this one. And I will say you can't really tell very much on camera, but for whatever reason, I feel that the old marble looks a little bit more gray than the new marble. And I've been comparing quite a few of the pieces just to see if it's maybe just a few of the pieces or if it's all of them. And it seems like the newer marble pieces are just slightly whiter. It could be the fact that I literally have had some of these pieces for years. Maybe just over time, it just isn't as bright and white, but it's just slightly slightly wider. I, I honestly don't think you'll be able to tell on camera, especially with all the lighting and stuff like that. But just laying out like the old versus the new, I will say that the white marble looks just slightly different. The way it feels is very much the same. Even just looking at the material breakdowns, 
they are very well the same with the 73% polyester and the 27% spandex. So they do feel and fit the same. It's just that I'm noticing that the color is just a little bit different. I could not find my other black marble pieces for the life of me. So I'm not sure how much the black will look different. Obviously, I don't think it's going to be that different, but for the white, I do find that the newer pieces look a little bit more white than the others. But again, that could just be because they're brand new and not worn, nor have I had them for very long. But I did want to just make that note in case little things like that will bug you and you're not wanting to get some of the newer pieces because you have some of the older pieces and you want to mix and match there. Again, I don't think it's going to be that big of a difference that's going to be super noticeable. I think it's just me being... You know, I'm really wanting to give you guys the details and be honest with you guys. So I think it's more like me just noticing things rather than something that's like really something that you need to know or like is a big deciding factor. You know what I mean? Because like if you were wearing it together, how many people would really go up to you and say that they're like an off-white? I don't think there's going to be anyone that does that. But I do want to just give you guys the details of what I am personally noticing from my pieces. Anyways, I feel like I went left field when it came to the Aurora crop top. I didn't actually talk about it, so let me just reverse a little bit. The Aurora crop top is still a beautiful top for so many people. It's a perfect crop top that isn't too short, not too long. It's a nice high neck as well, so it doesn't show much cleavage or anything like that. And it's honestly great to throw over any sports bra and to pair with shorts, leggings, whatever it may be. I literally have every single color in the Aurora crop top. I've obviously had to let some go because it just became a little bit too much, but I will let you guys know the Aurora crop top is amazing. This one is very similar to some of the previous Aurora crop tops where it's a little bit on the thinner side. It's more slippery material and not that thick material that the Aurora crop tops used to be. So if you guys have purchased some of the more recent Aurora crop top, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say Aurora crop top, but if you guys have had any of the previous ones and it's that thinner, stretchier, and more slick material, that is exactly what you can expect with the marble one. Next up, we have the Limitless Flow Top. So I know a lot of you guys love these kind of styles of tops. Personally, for me, it's not my absolute favorite or anything like that, but I do think that they're a great top to have for those more full length days where you don't want to be wearing a crop top or anything like that. And you can always tie it as well if you wanted to. It has this really nice scoop at the bottom, which I know is really flattering on so many women. Just personally for me, I felt like I looked like I was ready to go play basketball or something like that. And it's just not a design for me personally. However, I am glad that I have it now so that if I do, you know, want to wear something for a run or feel like I want to wear a flowy top someday, this will definitely be my go-to. This top in particular is actually made of 90% polyester and 10% spandex. So slightly different from all of the other marble pieces. And I'm not a material expert or anything like that, but I do notice that the tops that are 90% polyester and 10% spandex are just slightly thinner. So I think that's the biggest difference is that they're just thinner than all the other ones, such as the shorts and the leggings, etc. So that is something to keep in mind as well is that the tops that I do identify as being 90-10 is just slightly thinner. So that might be something that bothers you it might not be but it is worth noting this flow top is beautiful when you tie it up as well to make it like a crop top if you'd like so there's definitely a lot of ways to wear this flow top the last piece in the marble collection that is a piece of clothing because obviously hello we have accessories is the limitless fitted jacket so although i don't have the limitless fitted jacket i obviously did my research and asked some questions and i have been told that it fits the most similar to the northern lights jacket from the frozen collection so if you guys watch back on my frozen collection video you guys will see me break down the comparison of the northern lights jacket to say the phantom jacket to say the nova zip jacket and i will put that on the screen as well for you guys but if you guys want to hear me talk about it a little bit more you can definitely check out that video which i will link at the top of this screen but just so you guys have a reference point the limitless jacket does fit the most similar to the northern lights one the fabric the feel and the compression is very similar and obviously the biggest difference is the finish and the print firstly for me i got a size medium in the northern lights jacket and that is the one that i do love the most especially when it comes to the length being only five one and three quarters i do have to be cautious of how long tops are on me because they do have such a short torso so again just something to keep in mind when you are choosing your sizing as well to wrap up the marble marble so to wrap up the marble pieces that are clothing wise there are no notable changes to keep in mind i did want to make sure that i did let you guys know if there was but after asking the team there are no big noticeable changes again it might just be me noticing that it's a little bit more white than the older ones or it might just be with age of you know the leggings that i do have like literally the marble launched like what two years ago so i have had them for quite some time so maybe over time after washing them and wearing them a 
lot. Um, that's why they're not as bright and white as my newer pieces. I will definitely have to just keep you guys updated like in months to come as I wear some of my other new white marble pieces. But overall, you can expect the same fit, the same feel, the same look of the marble pieces from the original ones. So before we continue to move on in this review, I do want to give a quick shout out to the new marble accessories. So when it comes to the Buff Bunny Game Changer bag, I'm not going to talk too much about it. You guys can watch one of many of my Game Changer review videos if you guys want to know all the details as to how much it holds, how it compares to the totes, how it compares to the duffels, you guys can see in the videos that I will link below in the description box. I was so excited to see this one come out. You guys know I love my Game Changer line and just seeing the Game Changer backpack come out in the white marble, I died. Like I was just so happy and it was like a must must have for me to get the white one. So definitely this is going to be my new favorite. It has the dark silver accents here. Like it's almost like a dark gray, like a space gray accent. I think it's so beautiful. It's the same great pack, pack, the same great backpack that we all love. So if you guys are obsessed with your game changer backpack, and if you're like me who has so many already, I still needed to have the white marble one because it's just so pretty and definitely a showstopper. When it comes to the white material, you guys have seen me review the ivory game changer backpack and I did sacrifice my game changer zip in the white for you guys to test out how makeup would dirty up the bag and how cleanable it is and for the most part the game changer bags are so easy to clean with just a cloth and water however when it does come to like makeup in specific when I put lipstick on the ivory game changer zip in a few launches back it did not come out that well so I would be cautious of using these zips as a makeup bag if you're going to be putting like really dark pigments in there it did take out the bronzer okay but i'm sure over time it would stain it pretty well but overall when it comes to like coffee spills dirt or anything like that the backpack does clean very easily so if you are worried about that i wouldn't be too worried so much again it's just being mindful of you know what you're putting in these white pieces personally for me i would definitely not be using that as a makeup bag but then again at the end of the day they are bags so that stuff does happen but so beautiful just obsessed and then over here to my left we have the new game changer fanny pack so we are going to fill this baby up and see how much we can fit I will say that it is pretty spacious and I have been loving wearing fanny packs lately just like across my upper body It's just so much more handier than having a purse or anything like that and quick access to your wallet your snacks You know, I've got some sour strips handy in mine. I've got a hair clip I've got my wallet and I've got some lipstick and there's still so much more room to put some stuff in there And it does fit quite nicely on me even though I am short and you know petite of a torso It doesn't look too big on me or anything like that and even across my waist. It's fine as well So if you guys are looking for a new fanny pack to carry all of your essentials for all of your adventures this summer And even when I go take cash for a walk I do see myself using this one and again same material as the backpack and the zip very easily to clean And I'm very impressed with the buckle here as well. This is like a metal. This is plastic right here so it's like half metal half plastic i will say that the straps are the same material as this it doesn't seem like it's like thick as thick as like this one it's a little bit thinner but overall i would say that it is a good quality fanny pack or sorry i should say belt bag so really love seeing the addition and i actually really do like the black marble for this guy in specific i feel like this doesn't look as lightning-esque and it definitely looks like more marble same thing this one has i think it's a bit darker no no it's the exact same like really dark silver space gray accents and again i just think it looks so so pretty so i'm just gonna put that back there so that is everything when it comes to the marble pieces so if you guys are still hanging out with me let's move on to some of the new pieces and the new fabrics okay wait before i move on to the new pieces i forgot about a couple more accessories that i do have so you guys love the scrunchies so do i they're just a lot better for our hair and they're obviously so much cuter to pair with our outfits so they did come out with some marble scrunchies that are made of the same very slick material so i have the white marble of course and then they also came out with the headbands so these again are more on the slick material side which is the Elysium material versus the new breeze scrunchies and headbands that previously came out in the other launches but I did want to note that they are coming with scrunchies and headbands of course for this one again in the marble both black and white so if you guys are loving those you can expect those and then they came out with some fun bandanas they threw this into my package for cash so I'll definitely be putting this on him when we go for our walks so that we can obviously match crazy mom dog problems but yeah they came up with bandanas as well i honestly 
don't know what else you can use the bandana for. I do see that it's a trend to be using it as like a headpiece too. So maybe if I'm feeling like that 2000 vibes, I will be doing that with mine. And then also we do have some glute bands coming out. This is a new print that we haven't seen before. I feel like this reminds me a lot of the Rebel glute band that came out, the design like with the floral and everything like that. But I think these are different flowers from the Rebel one. Beautiful blue color and they will also be relaunching the marble ones as well. So I mean, you can never have too many glute bands, you know? So I guess we just went through all the accessories even though I said that was gonna be at the end but it's fine let's talk about this new material that you guys have been seeing all over everyone's Instagrams that is actually eco-friendly so this one is actually made of old plastic water bottles that never looked so good hold on let me just rephrase that so their tagline with this is that old plastic water bottles never looked so good. So introducing our eco line. So each piece was created using recycled fibers, plastic bottles, and even glass. We use a blend of recycled and non-recycled fibers to strengthen the longevity of our products. We want to give our customers quality pieces while helping save the world one legging at a time. So I love that they did this. I think that's so cool. And that's obviously why in our PR packages, we got like beeswax, food wrap, we got we got a reusable straw, we got a reusable bag, all about being eco-friendly. So I think that's so awesome. And it does make me feel some type of way to know that I am contributing to being better for this environment. And surprisingly, I do love this new fabric. I really wasn't sure how it would fit or feel because it is recycled polyester, but surprisingly, I honestly can't tell a huge, huge difference with them. I will get into a little bit more details shortly here as I'm comparing some of the different styles of the uh, leggings that are coming out in this fabric but i will say that when it comes to the price because i know this is something that a lot of people are asking is that i'm sure it will be a little bit more expensive but you guys do need to remember that some of these pieces are very premium and very different and so to outsource the fabrics for these and to get them manufactured they are a little bit more expensive so therefore they do have to be a little bit of a higher price tag just like anything that's like organic or natural it is a little bit more expensive so i think that it shouldn't be much of a shock if these pieces are a little bit more expensive but honestly you're making a difference in this world. So why not spend that extra money to do so? Again, I feel a little bit better knowing that I'm wearing recycled fabric. All right, so we're taking a quick pause on the video because it is giveaway details time. So we are doing two giveaways for this launch. We are doing one over on Instagram, one over here on YouTube. So for the Instagram one, two of you guys will be winning a $50 gift card courtesy of myself and Buff Money Collection. All you gotta do is find this Instagram reel and that will have all of the giveaway details over there for you guys to enter to win. And then over here on YouTube, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and then make sure to take a screenshot of your favorite part of this video, whether it's the silliest face that I've made, your favorite piece or your favorite part of this video, whatever it is, take a screenshot, upload it to your Instagram stories and make sure to tag me on Instagram so I can see you guys did this step and then come back over here and comment down below your email or your Instagram handle so that I can contact you if you are the winner and that is it. The YouTube giveaway will be a $25 gift card from yours truly personally. Again, I am just always trying to find ways to give back to my Gab fam for being the amazing supporters that you guys are for using my code Gabs at checkout, for watching my YouTube videos, for sending me DMs, just telling me how much I was helpful, whatever it is. I just want to give back to you guys for taking the time for supporting me as an athlete and just as Gabs. So with that being said, let's get right back into the video. Now I was able to wash these and dry them and I didn't find any big difference. I think that the true test of how well these do hold up over time is going to be exactly that. Wearing them over time and testing them out and just keeping you guys updated over on Instagram as to what I think. I'm sure we will continue to see more pieces in this line. So I will just have to keep you guys updated in every single launch. And I mean, even more of a reason why you guys should be following me over on Instagram. So from my first impression and from washing them for the first time, um, I didn't notice anything. As always with my active wear, I do not dry them in the dryer i hang dry them as you should be just to really push the longevity of these pieces so when it comes to activewear make sure you guys are doing your due diligence as well in regards to just upkeeping you know how you should be taking care of them how you should be washing them how you should be storing them and all that good stuff if you guys want a more in-depth video on how i care for my activewear i did actually make one here on youtube and i will link that up top somewhere somewhere here down below for you guys to reference off of. Anyways, you guys don't want me to just keep talking about it. You guys want to see these pieces. You guys want to know how they compare to some of the other pieces. So let's get right into the hybrid leggings. So are these guys right here. So these do have a slight 
top seam to them. I would say that it's not as bad as say the Outlaw ones or some of the previous top seam leggings we've seen. It's a lot more flatter and a lot less like out there. This is not a design that we have seen before when it comes to like all the seams on the leggings and everything like that. So I do love that a lot for us. It does have that usual kind of bit of a booty contouring in the back. And this color is so beautiful. When I saw this elements color, I was like, yes, it's like a berry purpley kind of situation. And I love it. Now, I will say that I did get a few different sizes in some of the upcoming leggings just to test them out. So I did go ahead with a medium for this one because of that top seam. Again, I carry a lot of my body fat in my midsection. So when I know that there's a top seam or if I know that it's a bit more compressive, I will go with my medium size so that it's not too much in the stomach area, you know? And so these ones again are nice with the top seam, but let's talk about the camel toe situation. Uh, I will say with the mediums, it was a little bit, uh, a little bit much. Once you do wear like an underwear, you're you're a little bit better, but it still was a little mm, questionable. Whereas the next leggings that I talk about, that wasn't the case. Sometimes when it comes to the camel toe situation, it comes down to the size that you get. So I am learning my pattern that when I get a medium, sometimes that's what happens because there's that extra fabric that bunches up and just, you know, it needs to do something. So yeah. <laughs> but anyways, I just want to let you guys know that was the situation when it comes to the camel toe. Everyone's different. Everyone has a different V, like I always say. Uh, so I think it's dependent on you and your previous experience with leggings. But personally for me, that was the only not so great part about these leggings for me personally. But again, with the right underwear, you were good to go or a little bit better to go, I should say. So that's the situation with the hybrid leggings. I will compare them in a second to the next leggings and really point out the differences because I think everyone's just a little bit confused on what the differences are. So again, they are made both of the uh, new Ecoline material. However, I will say that I actually loved the Eco leggings a bit more. I felt like they fit slightly, slightly different, like slightly different. I feel like they just fit a little bit more softer. So let's check it out. Ah, okay, so they are a little bit different. The hybrid leggings are made of 75% recycled polyester, 25% spandex, where the eco leggings were made of, or are made of 79% recycled polyester and 21% spandex. So that can explain why they feel slightly different. You guys, I'm telling you, my intuition does not play me. I always know when there's a slight difference. Like I just feel like after how many launches, I just understand without actually looking at the tag. So um, it's just a little bit satisfying when I read that and I'm like, yeah, see, this is why I was right. But the eco leggings, I do feel that is the one of the biggest differences. Also, the eco leggings do not have a top seam. In addition, they also have a different logo in the back than the hybrid ones. So you'll see that the eco ones have this rubber one where the hybrid ones have the reflective one like I do have on this mock neck here. So those are some differences that I noticed. I'm really interested to see how this rubber logo holds up. I know a few people on my Instagram live. If you guys do not tune into my Instagram lives when I do an unboxing, you guys are missing out. They're so much fun. When we were in that IG live, some of you guys were answering that the Alpha Elite leggings that have a similar logo have have been fine as you guys have been wearing them washing them everything like that so hopefully we don't have an issue again i will keep you guys updated over on instagram as i continue to wear these and wash these more so the eco leggings also have a different kind of seam situation going on along the sides along the back and that is again some differences that you guys will be able to see between the two leggings the inseams are also different and i will tell you exactly what the inseam differences are so the eco leggings are only 25 inches where the hybrid are 27. So for my taller girls the hybrid ones might be your go-to but again do you like that top seam or do you not so those are the main differences when it comes to the hybrid and the eco leggings so in comparing the elysium material to these two uh, leggings so since they all feel very similar like slickness compressiveness performance-ness they are all very very identical however the main difference between the elysium and these ones is that the elysium is slightly heavier 
However, the weight is a very minute difference. The Elysium fabric has slightly more spandex present in the fabrication breakdown, which adds slightly more compression. In recap, the marble is going to be a little bit more compressive than say these ones are. But again, these changes are all very, very slight. Uh, but again, I wanna give you guys all the details when it comes to these reviews. And that's why I am going that much in detail when it comes to these fabrics. So those are the main differences between them. And with that being said, I would say that the eco legging is a little bit more compressive than say the hybrid legging as well. Let's talk about these colors though. This sapphire, this nearly natural, so pretty. I will show you guys a comparison of the nearly natural and the Atari. The nearly natural is more definitely of an emerald green where the Atari is more of like a forest green. So a little bit of a brighter green, not as deep and dark as say the nearly natural is. These colors are just literally perfect for the springtime coming up. I personally preferred the small in the eco leggings just because that's just what I feel is more comfortable and I wasn't pulling them up as much and I didn't find as much extra material either. So personally for me, I do like my smaller size in the eco leggings. And for these ones, I did not notice any camel toe going on. So I think we're in the clear for those. It's just so interesting to me that all these different non front seam leggings are giving me different situations. I thought that we were going to be all in the clear with the no front seam, but lately it's been very hit and miss depending on the legging itself. Those are my thoughts on the hybrid leggings and the eco leggings and the differences between those two, as well as the marble leggings. Now let's move on to the bras. So the hybrid sports bra, I did not grab because honestly, it is not gonna be good for the bigger titty committee. It was just not worth me grabbing. I just can see already that it is a little bit of a deeper plunge. It's a bit of a smaller cup coverage. And so I've just learned to like say no to certain bras. I will say that this hybrid one is very similar to one from the Frozen launch. I don't know the name at the top of my head, but I will put a comparison of the two up here. It's a beautiful sports bra with like a very minimal back and like lots of back showing kind of situation if you guys do like that. And obviously it will match great with these leggings, but personally for me, I just said, nah, I'm good. I'm not gonna get those. But if I were to get it, I would probably get an extra large just to be safe. Just because I can see that the surface area coverage is just a little bit different uh, than the other bra that I did get. So the one and only bra that I got from this launch is actually the Eco Bra. And I was actually surprised to see it in person. I thought it looked fairly big and I got my regular large size and it's honestly a great bra. It has thick straps. It has a good surface area coverage. The back is beautiful with it being very open and just like a little bit of like a bow kind of looking situation here. But I will say that I think the large was actually too big for me. You can see that it comes pretty low like this part here down my back. So that was really interesting. And I didn't feel super secure. I felt that I was covered, but I didn't feel very secure. So I feel like if I had just a little bit more like compression, I would have felt a little bit better. So it's kind of weird for me to say that I would be interested to see what a medium would have fit on me. But at the same time, I think if I got a medium, I would have a little bit more side boob going on. So, I mean, that's the thing being bustier is that you kind of have to pick and choose your situations when it comes to the bra. But that is personally what I found with the Eco Bra. I will say that it is very comfortable and I didn't feel any sort of way about it other than what I just said. In regards to comparing it to the Maraschino Bra, I would say that they are very different. Like, I mean, they feel the same, yes, but I would say that they are different. The Maraschino bra is definitely more of a deeper plunge, like a V-neck situation, and it has a different open back situation as well. So I honestly don't think they're very, very comparable just because they're completely different, in my opinion. However, again, they do feel very similar. So that is what I have to say about the bras that are launching in that new material. So we've got a lot of tops coming out surprisingly. And that's why I was like looking at all my stuff and I'm like, why don't I have very many bras? And it's because there's only two bras launching in this launch. Well, three with the marble one. So I was very surprised with that, but I think this is gonna be something great for everyone who is looking for more of the flowy tops, the longer tops, or maybe even just the crop tops, but like as a t-shirt. So if you guys watch my live again, I was a little bit concerned for all of these tops, but to my surprise, trying them on, they don't look all that bad. I thought they would be more of like a short cap sleeve. Like that's what everyone was saying is that they're cap sleeve, but I didn't find them too like high cut on my shoulder. But yeah, it surprisingly wasn't bad. I do feel like they're the perfect length for those who do have a shorter torso where it's almost like a full length top for us or like to the waist top for us. So I do love that. I personally 
don't love this little cutout in the front. I think it would have been a lot prettier without it, but I do love the back and it is a bit of an open back situation without too much. So if you had like, say the hybrid bra underneath it, it would look super cute because you could see like the little bit of detail. And then again, it does have this scoop at the bottom as well, which is really, really nice. And it was comfortable. And I do definitely see myself throwing this over like sports bras and stuff like that. I actually got a small in this one and I'm actually surprised that it fits pretty nicely. So for this top in specific, I would say size down because like I said, I normally get a medium in all of my tops. All right, and another short sleeve that is coming out is the solar banded crop. So what's nice about this one is that it does cinch at the bottom because it is banded like that. So I think that's one big difference between this one and the atomic crop. And then it does have the mesh cutouts. I did find for both that it did sit very like, not an, a boat neck situation, but almost like a boat neck situation. But again, I was surprised that I didn't not love the short sleeves as much as I did because normally with short sleeves, it's very hit and miss just because I don't love the capped shoulder situation and sometimes it just cuts weird on the shoulders, but I wasn't very bothered with these ones. So I'm very pleasantly surprised with that. So those are the two t-shirt crops that are coming out. And then we have this botanical top. So this one is so nice. So it has a little bit of a peekaboo in the front there across the chest. And then in the back, it is very open. And then it has a little uh, string up top here. So again, if you were wearing like a cute sports bra underneath, it would definitely show through and it would be really nice. This one has again that same thing at the bottom where it is a scoop and you could definitely tie this to be like a crop or even tuck it into your bra as well if you wanted to make it a bit shorter. Just because as you can see on me who is like five one and three quarters, it does come pretty long on me. But again, that might be the preference for some of you guys who like these kind of tops. And so that could be perfect. Personally for me, I do actually not mind it full length, but I would definitely see myself cropping it by tying it up. And the other top that I don't have is the earth tank another flowy top with like more of the thicker straps and then a little bit of a keyhole in the back it does come down a little bit lower in the back as well so again just another great option when it comes to the full length tank tops this one will be made of 88% recycled polyester and 12% spandex, which is just slightly different from the botanical top because the botanical one is only 80% recycled polyester and 20% spandex. So just keep that in mind that they will fit a little bit different from one another, but still another great full length top if that is what you're looking for. All right, and so the final clothing piece that everyone is so excited about is the bio bodysuit. So that is this guy right here. She's a beautiful ribbed mock neck bodysuit. I will say that I'm not going to include footage of me in just the bodysuit because that's just too much. Okay, too much. But I will say that it does come pretty narrow at the bottoms here. So that's why I'm saying it was just too much for me to be putting out on YouTube. And I will say that it was a little bit long on me as well. So for my taller girls, I think you'll be good to go with this. I know that for my taller girls, a lot of you guys were concerned about that with the one pieces and it all worked out fine for you. So again, for the bodysuits, I would say you'll be good to go as well. I thought this was so cute. Even with the leggings, it looked great. And this would definitely look amazing with like jeans or like more like casual leggings and not like athletic performance leggings and it's ribbed and it's just super super cute and here I'm actually not wearing a bra in it and it was fine like it wasn't really see-through or anything like that either so really really impressed with this bodysuit and this one as well is made of recycled polyester and spandex so this one is actually 91% recycled polyester and 9% spandex and it has a body conscious fit I will say that looking at my footage it definitely looked very very bomb with the leggings and really did you know emphasize the curves nicely. So I love the bodysuit. I personally think I'm going to grab the white one and the black one because again, I love my mock necks. And so if I find something that is great, I am going to grab it in every single color. And for this one, I did get a size medium and it fit great for the bust and it fit great overall in my body. So I think that my body like lengthwise or height wise is a small, but because I wanted to make sure I had enough coverage for my bust, I did go ahead with the medium. And like I said, I am totally fine with the way it fit. I just noticed that it did fit a little bit longer when it came to the bottom part of the bodysuit. All right, you guys, so that is it for this try on and review. I hope you guys found it helpful. I hope you guys got all the details you were looking for. And again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you guys are still not sure about something, feel free to send me a message over on Instagram. That is the fastest way to get a hold of me. And sometimes it might take a couple messages for me to see it just because my Instagrams are a little bit crazy right now, especially during launch. But I will get back to every one of you before the launch. You guys can also comment down below with any of your questions. One of your questions might be a question that someone else has. So please don't hesitate to do that. I do check my YouTube at least once or twice a day during the week of the launch. 
so I will get back to you. But again, like I said, Instagram is just a faster way. So make sure to do that if you guys do need more support before this launch coming up on Saturday, April 17 at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Of course, if you guys do want to support your girl, she does make a little bit of commission. If you guys do use the code GABS at checkout, you guys absolutely do not have to, but please, if you do, let me know so I can personally thank you. I know it takes an extra step to go ahead and use my code. So I do wanna make sure to thank you guys for taking the time to do so. In addition, I always love seeing what you guys grab from these launches because we always do a Gab Bam Boomerang at the end of every launch. So if you guys wanna be a part of it, make sure to send me a screenshot of your order and I will include you guys in our fun Gab Bam Boomerang collages. Usually if I don't reshare your guys' story, you guys are in the collage. So you guys can decide if you guys want me to reshare your story or if you wanna be a part of the Gab Bam Where's Waldo collage at the end of every launch. So with that being said, I wanna thank you guys so much for spending this hour-ish with me. I'm not sure how short we got this down until I edit it, but I wanna thank you so much for spending the time with me today to go over the Marble launch coming up. And I wanna thank you in advance for those who do choose to support me. Happy shopping. If you guys wanna continue watching some of my Buff Money collection reviews, I'll leave them over here on this side of the screen. If you guys aren't subscribed already, make sure to do so by hitting the button over here. And I will see you guys in the next Buff Money collection try on and review.